No, I do not want to continue from where the hell I left off. I want to go back to the first file, save, relive it until the trial, and then just keep reliving that one little piece again because that part made me happy. It gave me joy. And now this fuckery! <sighs> Y'all, it has been like three weeks since the trial that I recorded. I'm still not fucking over that trial. I really, I'm not. <laughs> and I'm not. <sighs> Guess I gotta start this shit. I swear to God, if I cry again. If there's another trial like this, I'm quitting. That was some horse shit. Oh. They were so young and talented. How could this Wait, happen? what? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident though? But what is going crazy. on? Can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that. No. I thought so. Oh no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I wanted them to live. For our sake at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. What? No. They should have lived. They had to. For this world. Yo, are we all dead? Are we dead? Like everybody. At least Suichi and Kaede are in heaven together. Ah, I want them to be together so bad. Were you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. What the? Hey! Hey, come out, bugs. Where are you all hiding? Just when Gonta think he finds something gone. Weird, really weird. Plenty trees, grass, sun, water, but no bug. Why? Weird, so weird. Hey, if any bug here come out, Gonta really want to talk to you. Hmm? What's that? Something on brown in grass. Words written on it. What? What? Okay, what the fuck is going on? You know what? That helped me. That helped me get over Kaede's death. What the horse? Uh. Oh, wow. Ding dong. Uh, we're Soichi now. We get it. Who is it? Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna use uh, my protagonist's voice instead of Soichi's voice because if I did Soichi's voice for too long, it'd probably tear me up. Like, tear my throat. It would be horrible. With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Oh, kind of. Hey, hey what are you doing? It's already morning. I know. Do you need something? Oh well, yeah, food. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. Well, maybe because I just saw the love of my life, you know, get murdered in the most brutal way. That, that honestly takes spot one out of the whole list. That's why I came to get you. Huh? But I really don't recall making any plans. I mean, you should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else you go get breakfast? Hey. Uh, I usually don't eat breakfast, so. Me either. I only usually eat once a day. Probably why I'm in such bad shape. <laughs> are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what do you eat in the morning? Huh? 
Ah, whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Oh, wait. I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay, let's go. All oh, right, I was gonna tell you. I'm sorry about yesterday, you know, for sucking you like that. Huh. Oh, it's okay. I see. I see. Uh, let's go. You wanna say hi to people? Say hi, hi people. to the people. Hi people! Night! Love you! Yes, I love my mother. Writing. Honest. Yeah, like someone trying to hide whiting in grass. Weird, right? Uh, I thought I said it's just gonna be that. No, haha! <laughs> no, we don't get to worry about it anymore. That's even more suspicious. Why? Oh, are you saying I thought it was suspicious? How sad. That's none of your business. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? Whatever, I just brought Suichi, so let's stop breakfast already. I quickly realized everyone was staring at me. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. As I expected, they were looking at me with surprise on their face. What? <gasps> Good morning. Oh, he's not wearing his hat anymore. Oh, look, there's the pro tag. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, Shuichi. Um. Uh. You finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this because Kayeti died or whatever? <laughs> I am fighting you to the death, Kokichi. <laughs> Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you can stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive <laughs> jerk! No, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. Aww, I love you, Suichi! Uh, um... Oh, he's still so cute! He probably should have died. Just a Bury y'all all for me saying he's so cute for like the rest of this fucking let's play, but I have a feeling either he's the new protagonist or he's gonna be the new killer and we'll just go from killer to killer. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to stare. I just took my hat off. It's not a big deal. You're right, my apologies. Uh, I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Oh, they're nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> How nice for you! Unlike plain Jane over here who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. I'm plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form! Let's see. Hey, <laughs> don't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price! Listen up. Uh... Okay, that's probably some anime reference I don't get, which is odd, because I'm playing this. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Suichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. Yes, yes, I prepared the breakfast. Yes, yes, I prepared breakfast for everyone. Aw, oh, I like her. Huh? Really, you did? Indeed, it was no trouble at all. I prepared an Italian omelette, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I've prepared rice balls and miso soup. Karumi, be my mom! <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, that, that's real shit. Like, 
you you come at me with a, a whole bunch of food that's like a proposal to me okay you get some pizza and cupcakes and that kind of stuff marry me now <laughs> Gunta want you to be his mom too good taste Gonta. what are you two even saying oh yeah, oh, yeah i'll show you guys something totally neat Look, look, when Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. You lesbian. Ah, uh, she's like a small animal. Yeah, bit. you're making it hard for me to eat. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurumi brought us. Uh, brought out, oh, oh. Gunta, not me to flatter, but all this food so yummy. I don't like his faces. I don't know why you like him, Joanna. <laughs> it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. See, how the fuck do you like that? I don't understand. <sighs> mm, the rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. That side is packed tightly so it won't fall apart but the inside is nice and soft why am i getting aroused by rice balls and because the rice wasn't crushed you could taste every sweet sticky grain even when it's cold what the fuck is going on with this breakfast Jeez. hey do you have some sort of god tongue or something May I? by not crushing the rice air is able to flow between each individual grain the triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. Yeah, I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. I'm assuming one will be crunchier. Hey. How have you survived this? I, I fight the urge to use... The voice. <laughs> How have you survived this long? Oh? Huh? What's wrong, Keyboy? You're not eating. Oh yeah, I totally That's forgot. Funny. You can't eat, cause you know, cause you're a robot. Oh, Kibo, you're good. Hey. hey now, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Motherfuck! What is this dude's problem? I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. Ah, keyboard Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. Ho! Oh. <laughs> we were having a normal conversation as if nothing had happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. Oh, uh, don't make me see it again. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves. That's why. Please don't- Oh, God! This kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. Oh, what's the matter, Suichi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself! Uh, sorry, I was- Hey, I was gonna eat that! I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food in my mouth. Yep. By the way, that thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we going to go check it out? <laughs> Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead! Huh? huh graffiti? Um... Oh, Gonta find it this morning. On concrete hidden in grass. What a horse a uh, witch in there. What horse a uh, written there. Huh, what do you think it means? Well, its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some sort of. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was.
thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo. Well, how about Suichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Uh, I I don't know. I don't know either. Gonta, I am surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. Do you channel the divine too? Oh, that cause of tiny bugs. And bugs. I thought vermin were not allowed to be seen in this academy. Yeah, Gonta think that before, but when walking in courtyard, Gonta think he see tiny bug. But bugs so tiny, even Gunta no can see it. And Gunta have 20, zero, what the f, six to five eyesight. So maybe Gunta just make mistake, but Gunta think. No, maybe Gunta just see things. With how fucked up the Danganronpa universe is, I'm gonna need you to elaborate, Gunta. Just make up your mind already, you degenerate. So you found a message while you were out chasing some bugs. Wow, Gunta, you did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. <laughs> what? Really? It's yep, true. so you should work for me. No! Don't you dare! I know you are not the ultimate supreme leader. You're the ultimate fucking clown is what you are. Okay, no, Gonta! No, good boy! I will not let you be corrupt by that bandana wearing little. F what? What? You're going to agree to it just like that? Hey. Be careful, Gonta! That guy's a real liar! <gasps> what? Really? Haha! <laughs> no way! Good thing Gunta have no reason to worry. God, Jesus, Gunta, why are you so nice? Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> Gunta, you're so gullible. You know, if you want to keep being this gullible. Oh my God. Okay. If you like what you see, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> okay. You'll be killed before you know it. Understand? Oh. <sighs> the moment Kokichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's the wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? Sit down, Kibo. You're a good boy, but you're dumb. But you're dumb not in a in an innocent way like Gota. You're dumb in a different way that you're just stupid. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, Kokichi, you know say things like that even as joke. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Say what? Kill? Has the K word been banded? Sorry, I didn't know. If you cry. But that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when a killing game is still happening. <sighs> hey, Kiyo. I know you're a freak who wants to cut out your own tongue, but may I s suggest a substitute of this guy's tongue? Mm -hmm. How can you be so insensitive, especially after what happened yesterday? I this is why I hate I degenerate males. They're about as considerate as amoebas. Hey! Don't complain if some scary guy yells, What color is your blood at you? You really don't. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Uh -oh. oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me, I was just talking to myself. Break his legs! And that bare bitch too! We're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. Isn't that your fault? Huh? Ganging up? Ah, bullying! Bullying is not cool! Bullying is the worst! Motherfucker! 
You're making us murder each other and you're saying bullying is stupid? Isn't that what you- <sighs> You know, it's my fault because I've been playing three fucking seasons of this game and I still let Monokuma get to me. I don't know. It's my fault. My bad, y'all. Why are you even here? Oh, I figure I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. A prize? Of course. Oh yeah, I forgot Monokid was bitten. Monokid bit the dust. Oh, they're afraid of Monadam. Oh, my keems! My keems. Oh, my kids seem a little under the weather, even though they're so freaking adorable! Are you being bullied? Ah! Uh, that's, um... I knew it. I understand. From experience. Aw. From experience? Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? This bitch has a whole backstory for Himiko that... <laughs> yeah, use your magic and turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshaping riches. What is up with this? I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. <laughs> huh? Hold on! The murder cubs bully each other? No way! The murder cubs should always get along! Hey, you kids, play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? You are the worst! And if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We all get along, always. Oh, oh yes, we do. See, my children are good kids. They would never bully each other. But the bullying will never stop because of people like you. Well, I think the threatening vibe we monocubs give off is perfect. Because we're a team of scary badasses who are gonna drag you down to hell. Anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you all have been waiting for. What? What? Listen up, because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes. Yeah. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. What kind of fuckery? These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow. What a bunch of random junk! Bravo! Bravo! Yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? I hate all of you. What's all this crap? What we're supposed to do with this? I swear to God. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Anyway, that's the situation, so just do your best however you please. Let's go. You're gonna get payback for all the bullying and by attacking us in our secret weak point. Secret weak point? Do you mean the nape of our necks? I got that one. But that! Wait, so 
the nape of your neck is the more weak point? I would never do that. I just want to get along. Huh? Ah, get along? Really? Don't listen, Fulia. He killed Mono Kid, remember? Hopefully, he'll kill everybody else and then himself. Hmm, uh, seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. This asshole! Am I really excluded? No! Oh. Kibo, hug time. I, I'm so sick of not being able to hug everybody. So, what should we do with this junk? Maybe we need to use these things on Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus. And what will happen when we do? Uh I'm not sure. See? Well, well no once we try, I'll take the junk then. No! Now let's leave this to Sasawichi. Huh? Me? Hey. You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at winning puzzles like this. Well, thanks for just assuming shit about me, I guess. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'll try. Yeah. Man, whatevs, I guess it's fine. You are a valley girl, but a guy. I swear to God. So I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. All right, let's get going. Oh my God, uh, Soichi, I love you. <laughs> Wow, that was the ultimate spin out. <laughs> First, I wanna, uh. I literally have no idea where everything is. And bite me, y'all. I accidentally found shit. That looks like that'll fit. Ooh, yay. What did I unlock? Sex dungeon. The wall came down? I want to think because of my magic, I will punt you into the next realm. No. Uh, no, I imagined I used an item on this object and... It was my magic. Yes, it was. Fine! Okay, sure. Whoa! This door is different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. Why is there a strawberry pentagram thing? From the looks at it, I'd guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. Wow, this is actually pretty fucking dope. I suspected it, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. Whose research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical items. Right? Right? Why are you asking me? What a huge saw. This room can't be locked, so we don't just have to worry about the tricks being stolen. Smoogie didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen again, but... Right. Aw, sweetie, I love you. I can feel it now, just how bizarre the situation is. Why is there a guillotine? This is a guillotine, right? I know it's for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Why is there so many s This is going to be used for magic too. I've seen it in a magic show. What's this? Hey, that's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords but comes out fine. It's not a trick. That's one of the space-type spells. Huh? 
space type. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a high ranking magic. That's right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space type spells. No average mage can handle them. Um, so in other words, you couldn't just be a mage. You'd have to be a sage. You'd need the worlds of wisdom for that. Smoogie was somehow able to follow all that. <sighs> oh, birds. I love animals. This is a big cage. You know, I think that we should take each one of them out. You know, clean them up. Preheat the oven to about 350. Stick them in there until they're golden brown. Pop them, uh, pair them with the biscuit. Yum. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Tastes like taboo taboo. <laughs> number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. What? Familiar? Oh, you mean that trick where a dove comes out of your head? Uh, uh you mean a magical animal? Mm. Yes, that's right, but my familiar isn't a dove, it's a tiger cub. That is significantly more badass. Please go on. A tiger cub? You being able to pet something fluffy like that whenever. I'll admit, even I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay. To think there was a room like this beyond that wall. I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. Mew and Kaye's research lab opened from the start. That's right. Oh my God, no. Oh, sorry. It's probably better not to not to bring up Kaye just yet, huh? No. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm okay. I see. I see. Well, that's a relief. I was just plain worried. I'm not okay. Um, I don't know how just yet, but like Katie said, let's survive and escape this place no matter what. You're nice, Samugi. A little too nice, but still. What is this? It's a huge cauldron, like one a witch would be stirring in a children's book. You. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pulp is for collecting mana. Huh? Mana? Mm. Don't you know it's a necessary energy source for magic? I see. Oh, I see. You mean like ether or life force? Mm. And the names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place... It's Bill and man, it's perfect for me. Is that so? Uh-huh, you crazy little bitch. Mm, they mix up magic tricks and real magic, but this is a pretty thorough collection. But it seems like there are labs for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? that this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles was made for the 16 of us. Is that really true? Hey, the rooms in the dorms have locks, but the research lab doesn't. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Mm. You need skill to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's magic. But I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not going to budge an inch on that point. Okay, I'm gonna step out slowly, ladies. I uh, will meet y'all later. I'm gonna aim nice. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck, I wanted to slap him. Oh, I knew you come check this area. That dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. How do you slap again? I want to know how to slap things. 
Oh, I guess you can't slap things out here, I guess. Only in rooms. I like this badass dragon that- What the lord have mercy? Alrighty then. Another sex dungeon. Part of the wall is gone. Well, that's so cool. We can get past this wall now. Alrighty then, charge! Wait, charging in is dangerous. Thank you, Gonta, for having more sense than Kokichi. Oh, uh, hello. Um, Kurumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing, but I feel stagnant air drifting from the damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this fo What the? Lord have mercy. Oh, hold on. Disrespectful! Wait. Stop doing that! Where? Where's my... Oh, shit! Well, that's good. I'm pissed now, but... What the fuck? What? I can't see shit! Guess I gotta follow the floor map thing. There we go. Oh, shit! Lab. Oh, hey! This is Gotcha's! Now this is a strange door. This might be the ult an ultimate research lab. Based on the design, could it be the ultimate entomologist lab? Wow, this is dope! Whoa, look at all these bugs! Insect specimens lined the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing! Amazing. This paradise! I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Yep, because he will eat you. I mean, this is actually really pretty. Like, it's all peaceful and shit. And all the hanging butterflies. There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Gritty bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks. Gonta understand, person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. I mean, I check around dead bodies. Bug cage- Oh, there's live bugs! Wow, that is an extraordinarily amount of bug cages. Hmm, lot of larvae and eggs, and they're even sleeping in cool place. They were refrigerated? It's okay, eggs- Probably hatch if Gonta take good care of them. Good. Good, Gonta. You're a good boy. Take care of those bug eggs. Yes. Well, well do your best then. If the, all these hatch, there will be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs in a new world. It's like that Bible story. <laughs> God. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood, and humans and animals began. Perhaps that's a little too dramatic. A little bit, Suichi. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Are you happy, Gonta? Amazing. Amazing. Gonta wonder how many bugs there are. Gonta is so excited he get his own special room. Who make room anyway? Gonta need to say thank you. And Q. Huh? Oh, oh, I thought Monokuma was gonna jump out. Uh, uh, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. What? No way, Monokuma? No, but no person who like bug can be bad person. They don't like bugs. I'm assuming they don't. Gonta said. 
I'm going to back away slowly again. Because everyone in this game has no... I don't know. At this point... Everybody's fucking crazy. What in the golly? What's this, a treasure chest? Yeah. Yahoo! We found the treasure chest! Why don't you open it, Saichi? Huh? Really? I should open it? Uh, yeah. I believe this treasure chest is saying I should open it, Saichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and she wants me to open it. Yep. Hmm. Alright, fine. With sweaty palms. Huh? What in the damn... What is this, a flashlight? I almost said flashlight. <laughs> no, it can't be just a flashlight. Maybe try turning it on. Hey. No, that's too dangerous. We should inspect it. Huh? It's gonna be okay. Even the flashlight is saying turn me on. That's not the only thing, Suichi. <laughs> I need to stop with this. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on, Suichi. <laughs> That's a flashlight, not me! That's... <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, you fuck! Oh my god. I should really edit this shit out and make me look a lot more mature and proper than I fucking am, but no. Y'all need to know how... <sighs> if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Yeah. Then I'll meet you halfway and expect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Okay then. And she snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. Wait, inspected how? She is crazy beyond normal amounts of crazy, so don't even. Stairs. It looks like I can go to the third floor from here. They're a little scary, but I'll try it. There's stairs, Sweetie. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, it's tennis! From the look of this door, this must be an ultimate research lab. Based on the design, this might be the ultimate tennis pros lab. Why would it be here? Probably rackets and training equipment. I like Ra I like Ryoma, so this is nice. Oh shit! An entire indoor tennis court. That's just impressive. Um. This is your lab, right, Ryoma? It must be nice having a whole tennis court here. Hmm. <laughs> I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis. Hey. Ryoma, you're not going to play tennis anymore. Tennis? Who the hell plays a hotty toy sport like tennis? My cousin does, so shut the fuck up! Sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't ya? It's fine if you forget. It was a long time ago. <laughs> so, when you killed the mafia with your badass tennis schools, that was a long time ago, too? Wait. Hey, come on, Miyu. What, what? It happened? What? It really happened, yeah? Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. Aww. Ryoma, I like you, though. Hmm. So it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you staring at that tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? Come on, let's go! Teach me! I do not know how to play tennis other than Wii Tennis. So, teach me, Ryoma. I don't know any of the rules. Are you a little bitch? Because you're acting like a little bitch right now. Kick her in the dick. What's with the stare down? You're scaring me. It's bad when you're scared by Suichi, of all people. Uh, now this is an interesting machine. Interesting machine? You mean the one swinging the racket? <laughs> With a few mods, this bad boy look really good. Yeah, my creative juices are flowing. 
<laughs> oh. A big male arm. Oh, God. Coming from her, it has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. Yep. I have a very bad feeling as well. What's all this stuff I Wait a second. Shower room? Hey! There's a closet or something in the back? There's a shower room in the back. A shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? Bitch, what? <laughs> You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. Y'all, he's been to prison. That is not something you say to somebody who's been on the inside. <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around and face the chick. Oh my god, don't! That is not something you say to a dude who's been inside and is a murderer. He will fuck you the fuck up. God, and I will support him fucking you the fuck up. Oh, oh, we might have given him some flashbacks. I am so sorry, Ryoma. <laughs> I was just kidding. I thought you'd laugh. No! Why would you- <sighs> But I do like Ryoma, so if he offers, I guess. <laughs> I am going to back out of here fucking slowly. <laughs> I never leave these places feeling comfortable. I feel very upset. I just lean back in there. Hey, don't drop the soap! Close the door, run! <laughs> From the look of this door, this must be an ultimate research lab. I have no idea what kind, though. I should take a look inside. I reached my hand to the doorknob. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Maggie, I swear to God! I did not give you permission to enter. Ah, uh, Maggie! So this is the ultimate child care gi- So this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so just by judging the door. That's true. You're right. Goodbye. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? No. But there's no rules against going into each other's labs. I don't care about rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. She has a dead baby in there. Here's a fucked up joke. What's the difference between a pile of dead babies and a Ferrari? I don't have a Ferrari in my garage. <coughs> Fuck, I'm gonna get killed on the internet, I guess. Whatever, fuck it. Ha, hey. hey, what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tip now, are you? <sighs> See, uh, thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> you hear that, Suichi? An annoying brat has showed up. Oh, Cassie, you. Damn it, why is this guy following me? Yeah. So, so what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Mackie? Don't be so pushy, Suichi. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know? Okay, I understand. Coming from... Okay. Good. And then stay away. If you try to go inside, it would be extremely painful for you. Bitch! <laughs> painful? Charge! Oh look, there's a baby on the uh the bottom of the screen. I thought that was like a sumo wrestler. My bad. Punch you in the fucking face. Punch. I'm fuck you up. I Probably enjoying the da na 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 a lot this episode. Cause I get lost. Okay. What 
the... From the look of this door, this must be an ultimate research lab. Alright, let's go inside. Ultimate maid lab. Oh, oh, this is badass. This room gives off an antique vibe and weird doll statues. No wonder we see Keo in here. These are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of the Queen Victoria's reign. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? Why? Oh yeah, we're a detective. Okay. Ever the detective, I see. So this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. So why are you here, freak? That was mean. There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner. Whoa, what the fuck? This is my research lab, then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. That's odd. I would be 100% okay if you don't serve them. Excellent. <laughs> Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. I would suspect. Oh yeah, me too. This appears to be Karumi's research lab. Uh, being in here brings a tale to my mind. Kore, Kore Iko, Kore Iko closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey. That sounds like a plot of a manga for girls. <laughs> Is it fucked up? I was like, wow, that actually sounds like a cool story. <laughs> Fuck! Is that so? Then are you saying I'm like some young love-struck girl? No the fuck I'm not! <laughs> so that is I'm reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. No the fu- I am uncomfortable. I do not trust you around my butt. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. What is this, closet door? I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Washing machines? Instead, there was a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will... <coughs> These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. I feel that's fucked up to, like, make her clean after, like... I was about to say 16, 14 messy ass teenagers. Huh? Cleaning, you mean the school? Romy, you don't have to do that. I do not, I do not mind to serve others as a maid's duty. That is like the shittiest ultimate, if you think about it. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as maid. I could cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people won't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will, I will do anything you ask. Well then. <laughs> Fuck, I need to stop doing this. Anything. That's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Kill Kim. Uh, kill that dude. Why does it keep freezing? Okay, there we go.
Huh, that's strange. There are fewer plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. Huh. They did say it was under construction. I suppose construction is still going on. But where exactly is this academy built anyway? No one has come to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you uh, but where could you build a complex this large and secret? Uh Um Antarctica. There you go. There's a lot of nothing down there. I remember seeing something weird around here. Oh, there we go. Ninja statue. Huh. This is... This is a mysterious object, but I don't think I can use any of the items on it. Oh. Let me try a different object. Okay, then. What in the, the pool? That's actually kind of dope. I could go for a swim. The vine suddenly withered. Skinny dipping! The ivy withered in seconds. What a remarkable technology. Oh, we could get in. We could go in from there, right? You intend to go inside. Of course, that action seems dangerous. Think. What the? Of course. Thought we were about to what are those to her? It's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Pool. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. 24-hour convenience stores and blood hooligans are also inseparable. Wonderful explanation. Huh? Th thank you. I don't know why you're being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. I think you've been marked. I think, uh, Manusake or Sasuke or whatever the fuck is gonna get it. What do we do? There may be a pool, but we're not gonna go in for a swim, are we? But, but if it is not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It is never bad to have too much information. I challenge that with what I have found on the internet. Yeah, I suppose you're right. We should all know knowing things is not good all the time. Wow, this is awesome. I think we need to fill the pool a bit, but this doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Well, I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. Too bad I don't know how to swim. We're gonna teach you. Because that's something everybody should know. <laughs> now I suppose that dream is pretty far away. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. Are you waterproof? Uh, if I tried to swim, I would just think... And that one is even further. There's a sh we can find a shallow end. Oh, I know. We could get those little. We could get pool noodles and the little floaty things on your arm. We are going to make this happen. We are going to teach her to swim, and we're gonna put it like a rubber ducky on you. I swear to God, we're gonna do this. I am determined now. 
It's a large diving board. Yes! This is also something you would find at a resort. This pool doesn't... This pool doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool of a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Yeah, like, if you look at the stairs over there, it's like nowhere even near. Listen up. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits here too. Huh? huh? Are you positive? Yes. Of course, there'd be no point in having this pool here otherwise. Well. Well, I suppose that's true, but... So where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. Skinny dipping! <laughs> That's true, all the closets seem to contain sp spare uniforms. If there were any swimsuits, I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. How, how scandalous! They're in a place that degenerate males have easy access to? Yes, because Suichi 100% wants to put on a bikini top that would be so fucking hilarious. I don't really think that's a problem. Oh, uh, I get it. Degenerates only care about you swim- Oh my god! Or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? What? <laughs> if that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. Mother What is- Just back away, Suichi. I wonder if the day will ever come where I can swim with everyone. This is going to happen, damn it! I am not going to stop until we find enough buoyant things. We will stack a ton of pool noodles on top of each other. There would be like 15 pool noodles, but I have a feeling Kokichi would come and like swim underneath and like knock it over and send him down to his death. But fuck it! <laughs> Kiba, I was wondering. If you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or in a pineapple? <laughs> Ooh, lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. What? No. No, I believe that before you get. Yeah, my tongue. No, I believe that before you'd get too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Why would you say that to each Please don't say such scary things, both of you, or I'll never set foot on a boat. If I ever get a chance to ride a boat, I will wear a state-of-the-art flotation device. We're gonna find one, Kibo. We're gonna find one and we're gonna let you stay. This looks like a storage room. I peeked inside and discovered all manners of pool supplies in there, but it is fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. See? We just put you in one of those. By the way. Perhaps I can float in the water if I inflate them and touch them all over my body. Yes. We are going to make this happen, Kibo. I will keep this dream alive. I think it would look like that tire company mascot, not the Michelin. Oh. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one I find peculiar. Peculiar. So swimming is prohibited at night time. Damn, that's the funnest time to swim! Are you kidding? That's right. That's right, no one's allowed to swim during night time. Actually, it'd be terrible if someone died to an unfortunate nighttime swimming incident. And that's that. We need you to die in the killing game. This Kick him in the pool. Is it, no? At first, I look at the mono. I look at the monopad. Make sure there's no. There's rules about not fucking up Monokuma. Ain't say shit about the monokit. Cause I kick them all in the pool. Bah! 
You can visit the pool at nighttime, but even touching the water is against the rules. So I can enter the room, but I cannot get in the water. Oh, I guess I'll... Oh, I guess I'll add it to the existing regulations just in case. Okay, then. Uh, anyway, why is the pool's water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What the hell are you saying? You've got some gaping holes instead of your eyes or something. There's enough water to swim. It only looks shallow because the pool is so deep. And somebody would be more likely to drown if we filled it up all the way. So that's that. I hate all of them. So they put a lot of effort into some strange things. Wonderful explanation, everyone. Huh? Oh, really? Huh? What? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Did you forget that he killed Mono Kid? You should hate his guts. Screw Mono Kid, I've always hated him. He was violent, vulgar, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. Isn't that... That is the most cliche anime shit. Or as you shone like praise near the end. So long, <sighs> anyway, no swimming at nighttime. That's okay, I wasn't planning on swimming. There are also some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length, 39 feet wide. Pool side is 13. Uh, feet on each end left side the pool side is 13 feet on each end and the left and right sides are eight that window must be the gym's window it looks like the one that was in the gym i suppose that means the gym and the pool are areas are connected it's pretty standard for a school to have the gym and pool area next to each other but I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's why I was lost. This window, it must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed up, but... The, this window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Uh, anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who would do that? I heard degenerate males get more turned on by girls in swimsuits than girls who are naked. Motherfuck! What? What? Okay, uh, Tanko, I'm gonna need to have a talk with this bitch, okay? And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear, over our panties that we wear, over our private. Y'all can't see the what the fuck face I got going on. Degenerate male. What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of degenerate males? I don't know, flip them? You're a karate person. No. Uh, I think you may be overreacting a little. Uh, Kibo, are you a degenerate male or girl? Which is it? Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. Non-binary motherfucker gang! <laughs> really? How interesting. <laughs> I suppose I did just assume he was a he, but Kibo is a robot, so... I suppose this is all for the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. Kibo is a non-binary or agender. I don't care. Yes! Love in the representation, but why does it always have to be a robot? <laughs> we still on rocky grounds, man. What the? Wait, what does that say? Night spot. Bro! 
Casino, Hotel Kuma, Kuma Sutra. Wait, what? Kama Sutra? What? <laughs> I want to go in there. <laughs> Fucking hell. Surprise. Oh, oh my god. Yo, this is for real a freaking... Okay. Okay. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. I do! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Love Suite! Oh my god, this is for real? Like a Red District thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. That's funny! <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be like my favorite room. Oh yeah. Gambling time, bitches! Oh uh, yeah. What is this place? Is this like a casino? Fucking hell! Yeah! For that shitty pun! I do the shitty puns! Thank you very much! This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. You can earn lots of money coins and exchange them. For what did the I? I was paying attention to the text, and then I look up and see that face. What in the damn is that? <sighs> for fabulous prizes. Yep, yep, you sure can. That was a wonderfully amateurish mother damn! It had a flavor of not even a father could match! In a sense, you've surpassed daddy! I hate her saying that. Okay. Which makes you a grandpa mother damn! Grandpa mother damn! So long, <sighs> I think I'm getting like a ball of stress not and each sho like two in each shoulder, one for each of those fucking bears, and then a tumor on my brain for Monokuma. See how this goes. Word for the wise. When going to a casino, don't don't bring what you are not willing to lose. That's a pro tip. Not that I have a problem with this. Hey! I will look so at you! Kaido shouted and pointed at a treasure of coins in front of him. Whoa, where- Whoa, where did you get the mountain of coins? I hit the jackpot! I got this much from just one coin! All this from just one coin? That's incredible! <laughs> just a regular day for the luminary of the stars! My intuition leads me to victory! Motherfuck! <sighs> oh my god. Like I said, a tumor on my brain called Monokuma. <sighs> nice work, Maverick! That's a McKinney lick you got there! Whoa, Whoa don't just jump out like that! I bet I was lured here by your lucky streak! Nice haul you got there! You could cash in those coins for something really splendid! What character is he playing? Well, well. Really good here, though! But if you earn more, you can reach the best treasure in this place! Huh. After hearing that, there's no going back for me! Oh god, he got you. But you could trade in what you already have right now. Come on. What are you saying if you don't beat his challenge, huh? What are you saying? If I don't mean this challenge, I'm not a true man. What the? F Enjoy your gambling addiction, I guess. <laughs> Besides, there's no way my intuition as the luminary of the stars can be wrong. He's about to lose everything right now. That's it, Maverick. You're the man. He proceeds to lose everything. And thus, Kaido began the sad tale of... Ka 
And thus began the sad tale of Kaido's downfall. See, you can't fly too close to the fucking sun. Ah, diamond, not again. What's wrong, Merrick? You're down to half your coins. Wouldn't it be best to walk away now? It's just half. I'm going to get everything back. Just you watch me. Cocktail, I'm watching. Homie got fucked. Okay. Kyro inserted one coin after another, but a win never came. <laughs> He's put, this is my last coin. This is where I'm going to have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. I am physically ill from watching Kaido. Kaido slid his last coin into the slot with a determined stare, pulled the lever. Right here. <laughs> We're just gonna stare at that face. Damn it, I was set up. If only I stopped while I was ahead. I tried to warn you. You do hear that a lot from people who have gambled away ev everything. They think they can win just a little bit more and end up destroying themselves. I'm gonna quit gambling if I ever. You can bet on that. No, dear. Having been to casinos, I have heard every single thing that is happening right here multiple times. <laughs> that is so typically, that is also typically what those people say. <sighs> Get fucked, Kaido. Well, rest in peace, Kaido. I have a 200 coin profit, so fuck y'all. I am, I am so horrifying. Oh shit on crackers. Okay. Yahoo! Found your Saichi! Oh. I didn't know you were here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Huh? Ah, Angie, did you find anything about that flashlight? Uh... Yes, I finally figured it out. It seems like Adora wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Monokuma. Do uh, not have time to relax now, Bayonara! I like that, I might steal that. If a Tua is going to explain anything to us, I guess she didn't figure it out. <laughs> but in any case, I should go to the gym. Well, that looks like a good place to stop for today. But at least, now that I can gamble, I can forget about Kaede. <laughs> so, if you like what you see, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can see my content in the future. Also, uh, while you're here, if you have any game suggestions, you just want to say hi. Leave it down in the comment section below. I'm Daisy Hyena. I'll catch y'all in the next vid.